Oh, look at the little beautiful one. Does anyone recognize her? Hey guys, this is Brenda from my Wee Wee Burns Cradle and today you're looking at my Greta Sculpt. Actually, it's only the head. If you look at the limbs, the limbs are actually the Phoenix kit. They're both made by Andrea Arcello, or Arcello and um, I decided that um, Daniel's head was a little bit too small for his body, so I swapped Greta's and Phoenix's heads and they are twins um, Daniel's not here right now this is Danielle Danielle Cassandra and uh, her twin is Daniel Beretta and um, actually Francis named Daniel <laughs> but um, I want to change her as you can see she's in a summer romper outfit it looks beautiful on her but it's time for winter. Um, I hopefully I found an outfit that might fit her. This is a faux knitted, knitted style uh, romper. It's red on the bottom, and the waist area is like a dark peach or a salmon, and then there's gray in the top center, and there's it says girl in different colors. It's a pink, a light pink that dark salmon and that red and it's long sleeve and the sleeves are white with that peachy salmon actually a light pink um, stripes all the way down the very end on the cuff is even a lighter pink so there are one two three four different colors five different colors incorporated into this beautiful lovely romper I've never tried it yet. I received it when I had uh, my partial silicone. Um, it came with her. It doesn't fit her because she's a preemie, but the seller was kind enough to throw this in as a gift. And I did wash it and I did put it away, so that's why it's kind of like pin wrinkly. But, um, oh well, that's fine. Um, so let's change this girl. I'm not going to change her diaper or anything, but, um, we'll see how she fits. And then I have a winter, as, um, if you've seen my other videos, you know that winter is here. <laughs> so I have this white knitted, uh, sweater that might fit her. It looks like a little too big, but we'll try it, see what it looks like. And then this is a extremely soft, and it's only, sorry, <laughs> sorry, my girl, she's under there, she's just a doll, it's okay. Um, this is a vintage Winnie the Pooh, and in fact, it's made by Classic Pooh Collection, and I found this at a thrift store for only like three dollars, so uh, thrift stores are my favorite place to go. I love how it has little ears on the hood and I, I'm picking off little black fuzzies everywhere but it's still very beautiful. I love this. So let's see how she looks in it though. It might be a little big but we'll see. So yes, this is Danielle and um, she is on her brother's body but for now I like it like this. Um, now the Daniel, I will I will put a card of when I swapped out their heads. And they're both made by the same artist. So that's cool. And she is my first custom to look like me. Me and Francis actually, because I have the black hair and Francis has those eyes. So and this, this uh, diaper shirt on underneath was actually one of my real sons. Well, probably a couple of them, if not all.
been a while since I've done a changing video on camera. Oh, her hair is. And I have a hat for her too to try and. This outfit's a little bigger on her, but it still worked. Hey, Danielle, it still worked. Move her up here so you can see. Aww. I think it works. Oh, her neck is a little. I tried to put a pillow underneath, but might have needed a higher one. See, um. See if she could look at you guys. Aww. <laughs> I love her. She's weighted very nicely. I did reweight her though because um, I replaced the inside with um, like now it's like super soft. I used that powdered uh, glass beads from the aisle. So, oh, she feel she's amazing to the touch now. I love it. You can't even hear no ksh, ksh, like the sax is so powdery. But anyways, we'll try this outfit. It looks very beautiful on her. The colors anyway. Okay, there is a button right here, but I just won't take that off. First. I remember uh, Wendy, she made she made this doll and she was doing her eyebrows and I gave her a picture of my um of my toddler picture when I was like under two. And she's like, I have to stop. I have to stop. I don't want them to look like caterpillars. <laughs> Mine were even more bushier than that. In fact, I have the picture. Oh, look, it fits her. Yay, I'm so happy. Sam, Sam is the one who sent me this. So, I don't think she watches me, though. But she's, um, I own at least one of her, I think two, but yeah, two of her actual dolls that she created. And the silicone I just bought from her collection. Now I'm a, I'm I don't think these socks really match, but but Sam is an artist too. Oh no, these are these are buttons. Oh, but I'm glad that fits her. I don't, I don't like her neck like that. It needs something. Maybe we'll just use... This looks huge on her anyway. Maybe she won't need this. Use it for a pillow. <laughs> there! Now you can see the camera good. See how these legs work. Button. Her legs are so chunky over here. The thighs. Same with um these are actually the Phoenix limbs. But oh I'm so happy it fits her well. I don't like these fancy socks for her though. She just needs ordinary socks. I don't think I have any right here at the moment. Oh, it fits her. I'm so happy. Oh, she's weighted nicely. I'm just doing up her neck, um, the ones by her neck. And then place her back down. 
I'm not used to metal buttons. Oh, it fits you. So happy. Aw. Here she is. Aw. <laughs> I don't know what you could see. Aw, it fits her. It fits her. You're heavy. I gotta put you down. Okay. Aw, it fits you, girl. Okay, I want to show you my picture that I gave Wendy for inspiration. This is a picture of me that I gave. That's me. <laughs> See how my eyebrows were? They're still like that. <laughs> my eyebrows are still pretty thick. But, oh wow. I don't do anything with my brows. But yeah, she's like, I gotta stop. I can't make them any thicker. <laughs> I'm like, that's fine. <sighs> Aw. Okay, I'm going to place this down. And it says one size, so. She fits in there. Oh, Danielle, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, she's sweet. I won't put this in there. If she was a real baby, I would, but let's see how this fits. Now wait, before I do this up, I think these two go together like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at it. Beautiful and pink. <laughs> she looks like, she looks funny. She's kind of small for this. I'm going to pick her up and fix her sleeves. Because her kit sleeves or her arms are bent. <laughs> so just adjust these a little bit. Aww. Her legs are a bit. Okay, now my bin of hats. <laughs> I wish you could see her better. She's not really looking at you. And now she is a bit. <laughs> okay, my bin of hats. Do it right here, I guess. Um, ooh, this one looks cute. This one is nice and warm. I like this one. Okay, don't have to look any further. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Adjust the camera, I'll be right back. I just had to move you over a little bit because now I'm on the floor. See how this fits. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aww, can you see that? I'm not really, wait, move her this way a bit more. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so cute. The thing is, I don't want this too high up on her. This is what, how I did with my real sons. And then I put a scarf over it. But 
I don't have any baby girl stars. Let's try and see what it looks like for real though. If I did it properly. <laughs> Aww. Strings disappointing her a little. I care she has that. She just needs a cute, a white scarf would be. Oh, I can't even see, sorry. <sighs> Let's see. Aww. Isn't she sweet? She's ready to go. <laughs> She's ready to go. That's what she looks like. <laughs> so cute. Oh, she's feeling warm. I am feeling warm just looking at her. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, love you guys. Matcha ham, thank you for being here. Have an awesome, awesome, happy day. Bye, guys.